they bring us an original, which is usually sculpted in clay, sometimes wax, occasionally it's a wood carving or stone carving, and we replicate it into bronze. With metalworks around the country, Bucky Hall has been the finishing touch of Western art iconography for a lifetime. After 46 years, I always just kind of took it for granted. Yeah, oh yeah, that, we did that. He's left with a husk of what was after millions were lost in art, machinery, property. Anything that could burn inside that steel building burned and it was hot, I mean, the roof sagged and everything. Even he and his bandmates' instruments, mostly gone, all in just five hours overnight. I don't know how big a loss it is, so it, it may end up that they have the coolest look of all time when I get them all cleaned up and everyone's gonna be like, wow, where'd you get that color? But inside the walls, ingrained in the raw materials that made up the building, lived something more. Hall. My wife and I met in high school in 67. I would kind of attract people and they'd stay friends with us because of her. Coleco Foundry of Cody, Wyoming was a family affair. My father-in-law started the foundry here probably in 77. I moved here in 78 and joined him. We were 28 and stupid, my wife and I were. Donnie, Bucky's wife, passed away three years ago. The foundry a mere trace of her family, and to Bucky, her, now lost to time. I'm, I'm going to quote my wife's parting words in the ambulance. This sucks. <laughs> and this sucks. <laughs> but with the comfort of kids, grandkids, and friends, life will go on. What's the Wyoming way? We're going to clean up and move on. Part of it is, uh, you know, your life continues. Marcus Kakova, MTN News.